Wright State University is encouraging veterans to tell their stories to be featured in a documentary. All of it being produced on campus at the new media incubator. Two News reporter Judith Ratana talked to the people involved in the university's Veterans Voices project. Students at Wright State are wrapping up production of their Veterans Voices documentary. Veterans are sitting down with fellow veterans to share their stories. They're not just nameless, uniformed soldiers, they're people. Ryan Lay was interviewed alongside his wife. We talk about what it was like joining the military with me, a few during, and of course, how it's been since I left. He says we often hear war stories, but not enough about the battles back home. It makes for really good television. But there's a lot of little things that you don't get in those, and we talk about those during the during the project quite a lot. Veterans have behind the scene roles in the documentary as well. It's a really professional environment. It's a full studio and control room, so we've got roles for the students behind the camera in multiple places. The interviews conducted will be sent to the Library of Congress. There are lessons of history that we're going to get from nobody else because each veteran's story is unique. It's redefined the way that I think about service. Seth Gordon hopes the documentary gives a better understanding of what a veteran's life is like. These men and women give up a great deal for a very long time, sometimes their whole lives. And as civilians, we need to understand that. Lay says veterans will walk away saying they appreciate the work and its accuracy. I mean, how could it not be? We're all veterans. And the Veterans Voices Project puts out webisodes about the topics they cover in their documentary every Friday. That's leading up to their documentary premiere on November 21st at the Neon. At Wright State University, Judith Hartana, 2 News, working for you.